Previously on the investigation of the Gresham estate. Are there any children here? I had a feeling that there were some children here. The lake turned wild, that is very bright. Thank you. <laughs> decided to take the investigation upstairs, we brought in Brent from South Carolina to do a remote session in the kitchen. Brent Smith, I'm actually a friend of Jared and Ed and Jackie. And I'm actually trying to talk to you guys from South Carolina. We have some pretty amazing ways of communicating in this day and age that you guys did not have back in your time. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to utilize this to get some good communication going. If someone is causing that meter to go off, can you please back away from this table? Can everybody just back away a little bit? Give some space here and give us all a moment to adjust what's going on. So, I see that's not going to happen. I am curious what's causing that to go off. If someone is causing that meter to light up, to red, can you also activate that flashlight for me? It's a lot of energy causing that device to alert like that. Are you able to move physical objects? Can you move those two copper rods that are sitting on the table? Can you move them in any way, shape, or form right now? Again, I am just here to try and communicate. I'm in South Carolina, so 
I'm no threat. Uh, I am a friend. And I just want to find out who's here. I would like you to communicate with me. And here it sounds like them moving around, I'm guessing, upstairs. Jared and Ed told me that they got a phrase two black men earlier. Are you previous slave? Now free men? If so, can you move those two rods to cross each other? As Brent continues his remote session in the kitchen, we get some rather interesting responses up on the second floor bathroom. Floor starting the bathroom. Uh, correction state, October 16th, Saturday. Time is oh, 2301, heads head Jared. Get out. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Do you not want us here? We can't leave. We need to get answers. Can you please tell me? Which bedroom is yours, sir? Where did you sleep? In the den? The bedroom that is behind this brick wall. Was that Mr. Mayo's bedroom? If so, can you turn the light on, please? anyone who is waiting or desiring to be in the flesh again I want to make sure you know that there is the word of God that tells the truth about that actually happening again I want you to know that it is true Jesus the son of God died for the sins of man he was buried and rose again three days later for our justification for our sins, pay the price that anyone who believes on him will have eternal life. And that eternal life is not just an existence in the nothingness. It is a life with him in a new body. There is an appointed time for it, and it will happen. He is coming back, and when he comes back, those who are in him, who are, who are believing, trusting in him, keeping their faith, persevering, and patient for his coming, looking for his coming. They will be caught up first to him, the dead in Christ. And only after the dead who are in him will those who are alive and remain be caught up to him. Both alive and dead will receive new glorified bodies, incorruptible and immortal. And we will forever be with our Lord. Commodore Isaac Mayo. And the light. So, do you want this door closed? Close. Close. Yeah. Can you close the door? Can you close this door, please? It's stopped right now. All it takes is a little push. Close that door, please, Miss Mayo, if you want it closed. Just give it a little. Lights off. Attic? Did you say attic? In the attic. Who's in the attic? 
Can you tell me what year it is, Miss Mayo? Wait, Sean. All right, let's hop over to the next one. Whose room was this? Just so you guys know, this won't be the last time that we come here. Tell us what you want to tell us. 
slaves, these men who were held as slaves who slept in the attic. Are there any present? Are you now free men? Did you die free men or women? Do you hold any resentment to persons in your previous life or in death. Let's get some interaction here. Okay, that K2 is going off. Why is that K2 going off? Can you take it to red? And can you tell me your name? Okay, well, we go down from here, we should just take the cameras and everything down. Yeah. Paper. 
Is there anything that you want us to tell the society what they should do with the place? Question. Let it park. And the light comes on for that right away. Do you think that it should make it a park? Yes. The light comes on. Okay, well we're going to give this all to them. And what they do with it is up to them, but I'll, I'll talk with them and see what I can do. Would you like for people to come visit? And learn about their history here? Like, thank well, you. We're going to work to see if we can do that for you. Yes. Okay. We're also going to bring some more people in here with us. Again, I got two thoughts now. <laughs> we're we're going to bring more people in to learn about you. Again, there's no need to be fearful. You have to stay here. You being here will help us preserve this place. Okay? Is there anything, Mr. Uh, uh, Commodore Mayo, is there anything of yours that you would like the society to bring into the house? I, I don't want to lose my mind, but I just heard personal items. I just heard personal items come out. I'll check that all day. Watches? decided to take the investigation to the front yard. We also decided to leave this part of the video unedited, so listen closely and tell us what you hear. What's this? It said it again. Karen Aid. Are you happy with the way the society is taking care of the place? Are you happy with the way they're taking care of the place? Is there anybody here from the 1658 settlement? Could you tell me where you came from? Them. Can you tell me where you came from if you're here from the 1658 settlement?
Spins up par? Yep. That's all right. heard England in there. Low. That's all I heard. Is it bad? How many people run the grounds here? Absolutely correct. Is there a bunch of wanderers that come here? Do you come in because this is the only thing you remember? I don't think they come in. I think they just show up. They're not coming inside, but they're on a property. Attract a lot of other spirits. Yes. Can you see them? Can you see the other spirits? How many of them are there? Commodore Mayo. You took this from the Spanish, right? Can you tell me what it says on the inscription? I hear you trying to say it. Tell me what it says on this inscription. We're going to close up shop. Thank you. With the experiences that we had that night at the Gresham Estate, I can say that the location is highly active and one that we as a team look forward to getting into again.